As you may know, this year is Missouri's bicentennial year. And August the 10th will mark 200 years since Missouri joined the Union. Missouri became the 24th state in the Union on August the 10th, 1821. In celebration of our special year, the United States Postal Service revealed a new stamp that celebrates Missouri statehood. The Postal Service's commemorative stamp program honors the best of America's history, heroes and heritage, which reflect the diverse people and experiences that have shaped our nation. And that is certainly true with our Missouri Statehood Forever stamp celebrating the bicentennial of the Show Me State. The stamp art is an existing photograph of Bollington Mill, state historical site, by noted landscape photographer Charles Gertie. I grew up in the Kansas City area, and as a kid, we used to take a lot of trips down to the Ozarks in Missouri. I also grew up with a camera starting at about 10 years old. I was taking my camera on these trips and already starting to photograph uh, throughout the Ozarks. As a professional photographer, I really wanted to promote that area and take a new look at that area. Some of the rivers and springs and bluffs down there were, uh, I thought, so magical, so I wanted to photograph that. And uh, this image was taken with a 4x5 camera, so uh, the film size is 4x5 inches. And uh, it's the kind of camera where it has a bellows and you have a hood over your head. Uh, the image on the ground glass is upside down and you're focusing with a loop on the ground glass. So it's a pretty slow uh, process. The stamp was designed by art director Greg Breeding. It shows the multi-story mill, which dates to the Civil War period, as well as the Burfordville Covered Bridge, the oldest covered bridge in the state. And the mill represents more than 200 years of Missouri agriculture. We are proud of this stamp and its great tribute to Missouri's history. We are pleased to officially present the Missouri Statehood Forever stamp. This photograph was taken at sunrise. It's lighting up the four-story brick Bollinger Mill, and that's right on the other side of the Whitewater River. And then there's the covered bridge that crosses the river right there. So all these three subjects kind of intersect together in the morning light. This covered bridge is one of, I believe, four remaining covered bridges left in the state. This is just a, a little tiny slice, but if you dig a little deeper, um, you'll find out all sorts of interesting things about uh, what the people were doing uh, back when this mill and covered bridge were made and the lifestyle that was there at the time. Uh, there's a lot to learn from our history, so I think it's important that we recognize these uh, centennials and bicentennials of our states. The history of Missouri is closely linked to the history of the Postal Service. As settlers moved westward, they needed a secure, reliable way to exchange information and deliver correspondence. This led to the expansion of post offices and post roads, which strengthened our democracy by fostering the flow of ideas and increasing access to a free press. This critical mission of binding the nation together was especially important for less densely populated states like Missouri. And the Postal Service has performed this pivotal role since the beginning. In fact, post offices were established in Missouri more than a dozen years before statehood in 1804. One of the most legendary chapters of postal history was also written partly in Missouri. From 1860 to 1861, the Pony Express carried mail between St. Joseph, Missouri, the westernmost point reached by railroad, and Sacramento, California, in just 10 days, cutting the regular transit time by more than half. During its final four months, the Pony Express operated under contract as a U.S. mail route. Today, we're proud of our role in the e-commerce economy as the Postal Service is the only shipper that delivers to every home and business in the country. Missouri is a great example of our ability to connect cities and rural areas to support commerce and communication. You know, it's, it's a very humble image, really, and, uh, and yet it represents the, the history of Missouri quite well. It's exciting to, 
to see that this image was, was chosen to uh, represent Missouri. Pick up your very own Missouri Statehood stamp this August and join us as we celebrate 200 years in the Show Me State. It is a honor and privilege to be the governor of the great state of Missouri during our bicentennial year. God bless.